need a gi for this. It's better with a gi. Uh, if you don't have pants, you can get a jacket. But anyway, it's gonna work. Okay. Uh, I will show you a couple of things from a position that I've been playing around with lately. We will do one sweep, which is the flippy flip, because I don't know names for techniques. And then we will do uh, the subby sub, which is a toe hold. And if, if we have time, we will do another sweep, but we'll see. Uh, we will stop a little bit before time to get a picture. And I will not take away from your rolling time because that is sacrilegious. Okay, so this is the position. Um, half guard with my knee shield. It is uh, a very nice position for both offense and defense. Uh, I will be showing two offensive options, but just a couple of words on the defense. This leg is my defense here. And I want it kind of in the middle of her upper body. If it's too low, it doesn't work too good. If it's too high, she can just push it away. So I want it here. And a little tip, if you need more support for this leg, you can just put your arm under here and then it doesn't matter how big and strong the person is, they can put all their weight on here and they're not gonna be able to collapse this leg. Okay, so our first option here is a sweep. And you can see there's a little bit of space here between her leg and the floor. And I will use this hand to dive into it. And if I can, I will grab her foot. I will uh, turn around after and show you from the other side. I will grab her foot here. This arm then doesn't have to do a lot. I'm just holding. I don't have to pull. I can pull if I want to, but I don't have to. So I'm just holding it. And the same with the lower foot. I'm just kind of holding her foot here. This foot is working a lot. So I'm here and I will push her over like this. And I'm coming up. Holding her foot open, pulling this foot back so that she can't connect her feet, and then I will just step out, and then I have a nice set. Check. Starting here, diving in, grabbing her foot, and then just coming up over, pulling it open. Yeah. I'm going in here and I'm grabbing your foot. Grabbing the foot is the best. If I can, I can grab her chin. If she has her feet flat on the ground and I can't get under, I can grab the top. But it's not as good. The ideal way of doing it is grabbing down here because then her foot will turn inwards as I move her over and she falls very nicely. It is very important that I follow her, that I follow her movement. So I'm pushing her over and I'm coming up immediately. So I'm starting like this and I'm ending like this. Okay, so it's a full 180. If I push her first and then I wait and then I go on top, then she's gonna be somewhere else. I don't know where. Questions? Yes. What do you think about the arm touch? You have the arm. Hoping it doesn't happen? <laughs> I have the other arm, so I can hold that. Yeah. But also, I'm, I'm also kind of doing it at an angle, so I'm trying to avoid the arm touch. Yeah. More questions? Yes. It doesn't matter if you're in the right or the right space. I'm reaching my hand. 
Yeah, if she goes for a really tough cross face, I'll have to have something else. It, it matters, yes. Okay, let's try. Um, she is giving me the exact position where this sweep is really nice. She is sitting very upright. If she is a lot further down, then there are a lot of other options I can do better. This sweep still can still work, but if she is up here, if she's up, then it's better. If I want this reaction from her, I can just like attack her with a loop choke, and she goes, oh no, and then she's up, and then I attack here. I grab the foot, I move her over, and I follow, and I straighten this foot all the way, and I land here. I don't want to land like on her uh, or somewhere else. I want to land here really close to her head. Mm -hmm. And my hand is on the inside of her knee, and I'm keeping this open so that she can't grab. If I let go and she closes her legs around my foot, it's not so good. I want to keep it open. This foot here, I can move back a little bit. So if she is super strong and explosive and bridges into me, then I will still be able to maintain my top position. Move out and here. So I am I'm broadening my base here so that she's not able to just push me over. More questions? Say one more time, please. Yes. I go in, I go over with her, open up. Yeah. Let's try some more. 